Hello guys, good afternoon, I think it's afternoon, yes. Uh, and happy Easter, or happy holidays to anyone that is celebrating, or whoever. Uh, so I'm really sorry for uploading this really late. This is the second time I'm recording this video. The first one I did, there was so much editing to be done, and I don't have the time. I've seen that so many people want me to release this video as soon as possible. So that's why I'm re-recording one today. I'm really sorry again for not uploading any whichever on time. I work 12 hours a day, every day. When I get home, all I want to do is just sleep, eat, or eat, sleep, then wake up and go to work the next day. So I'm so sorry. I'm going to be on leave very soon, so I'll have time to record more videos and upload them. All right, so today, as you can tell by the title, I'll be talking about um, becoming a medical lab scientist in Nigeria. The steps you take to becoming one and what to expect when you graduate from school and um, i'm going to talk about salaries as well and future prospects or things you can do within this specific field okay so if you see me looking down i'm trying to read my notes so that i do not forget anything this video is going to be kind of a long one so i'm sorry okay uh so who is a med lab scientist or a medical lab science, laboratory scientist these are basically people that work in the lab so if you if you've ever been to the hospital and you were told by a doctor to go to the lab to run some tests so maybe a pregnancy test or a uh, full blood count to check your blood level or to check your electrolytes urea and creatinine or anything if you were told to go to the lab to do anything you put that man that place the people that hold that place down the people that control whatever happens there and people that basically do this test are medical lab scientists and to be honest i think they are the most important part of medicine they and pharmacists we doctors come second to be honest we cannot do our jobs effectively if there are no pharmacists and, or pharmacologists and if there are no lab scientists we'll just be doing basically we'll be doing the guessing game honestly to be to be sincere and which is why we all need each other i don't think doctors are most important or are more important than pharmacologists or pharmacists or lab scientists we all need each other to make people feel better and get better uh so yeah and it's very lucrative it's just that here in nigeria it is um it's often looked down upon but it's a very lucrative field if you find yourself in the right situation at the right time so i'm looking outside because i'm recording in front of a window so i'm like looking at well there's nothing to look at because everybody's in their houses okay uh do, 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 do. let's see how long is medical lab science in university it's a five years course so if you go in as a fresh um high school graduate it's a five-year course but if you go in with uh direct entry so let's say you've done a degree before and uh you want to go in as a direct entry you're going to start from the second year so that would basically mean you do it for four years so it's five years but four years for direct entry students. I hope I hope that is self-explanatory. Okay. And let's say you're in secondary school. What are the subjects you need to do to ensure that you get an admission into a university to study medical lab science? You have to do your basic core science subjects, which is biology, physics, and chemistry. There you cannot bargain on those subjects. Then mathematics and English. So Whatever you're going to do in Nigeria, you have to study um, mathematics and English in secondary school. Whether you're going to study Yoruba or not, or anything. So mathematics, English, biochemistry, um, chemistry, uh, physics, and biology. So these five subjects are the core subjects, but um, you can add anything more just to make up your work, right? So you can do economics. When I was in secondary school, I did... Um, Maths, English, Biology, Physics, Chemistry, Economics, Geography. Um, I did something else. I know I did nine subjects in my work. No, is it eight? I did Yoruba, Geography, Economics, 
something else. I know I did something else. All right. So you you get the drift. So five at least these five subjects you need to do them in secondary school and have done them in your work and have at least a C six in your work. And then you go to jump and you obviously need to meet up with the minimum requirement for each university. So each university has their own minimum jump score. You know how it is. Alrighty. Uh, what's the next thing? Da, 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 da. So, um, I'm trying to. All right. So when you graduate from the university as a medical lab scientist, you have to do an internship. So just like doctors and pharmacists and dentists, you have to do one year internship in a accredited center. So this could be in a hospital, in a pharmaceutical company, or in a yeah, in a laboratory company, but you definitely have to do a one year internship, just like the rest of us. <laughs> I don't want to say unfortunately because it's a paid internship so you're not losing anything you're gaining that knowledge you're having minimum re responsibility and you're making money in the, on the, in the same time so i don't want to say unfortunately it's a great thing actually so after that obviously after the internship you go for your nyc and if you're nigerian you know nyc is composed for everyone that graduated before the age of 30. So it doesn't matter if you study Yoruba or if you studied economics or if you studied accounting or if you studied medicine or if you studied pharmacy, you have to do NYSE. And for NYSE graduates, you, um, sorry, I had to pause the <laughs> video because I wanted to connect my charger. All right. Um, so yeah, after the one year internship, you have to do NYSE. But after obviously the one year internship, you're inducted, you're inducted into the association of um what's it called medical lab scientist uh, institute of medical laboratory science and technology of nigeria so after you're inducted you're given a license to practice and just to take up jobs as a medical lab scientist right uh okay so in the university what courses do you have to do you'll be taking through different departments in the university clinical chemistry, hematology, medical microbiology, histopathology and immunology, pharmacology and instrument, instrumentation. So you'll be taught on how to use all of these reagents, all of these chemicals, all of different type of test technique or yeah, diagnostic techniques to diagnose diseases. And you'll be taught a little bit about medicine actually. Uh, so, and how to run genotyping uh, blood grouping and cross matching everything how to do malaria test i mean so many things that you can imagine that which is why it is a it's a long program five years is actually a very very long time but if you're good i would say that you'll be able to even diagnose diseases if you are able to know the patient's history so yeah all right so after you're done with um nyc what do you do Welcome to the job market. <laughs> so you have to look for a job. But I don't think you would actually have any problem getting a job, really. Because I think that, I think there's a lot of career path for you. If you want to, you can go back to the university to do your master's. Or you can just get a job with your bachelor's degree in hospitals. So in private hospitals and government hospitals. You can even open up your own lab if you want. You can open up your own laboratory and run tests um as a uh, very as an external um situation or external body and um yeah you can do all of that you can also work at at um at companies and companies so you can work in companies as a med lab scientist or as a scientist depending on if you maybe did a master's degree and you specialize in a specific field okay so how much is the salary i know that's what everyone is here for um in a previous video, I talked about how much doctors earn. So interns, people that do internship in, in hospitals, how much they earn. And I, if you remember, I said in those videos that the pay correlates to if you work in the um, public institution or in a private institution. Furthermore, it also depends if you work in a federal government hospital or in a federal government institution. 
and also a state institution. So obviously you get paid more if you work in a federal hospital. So FMCs or teaching federal teaching hospitals, definitely you get paid more than the counterparts that work in a state hospital or in a private institution or in a private hospital. So the, the salary can differ depending on where you work. Well, at least you can earn between 120 to 160,000 Naira per month. Yes, in that range, 120 to 160. But I think it will be less if you work in a private institution or a private hospital. But in a federal government hospital, you can earn as much as 130, 140. Now, depending again on which federal institution, because FMCs, that's federal medical centers, they pay more than teaching hospitals. And the reason why this is, is because, and I've discussed this in the previous videos, because federal medical centers are meant to cater to a large area or a large population. And so they are paid according to uh, the area that they cover. So which is why in federal medical centers, you get more salary than in teaching hospitals. Okay, I hope that makes sense. And for NYC, you get paid <laughs> what everyone is paid. When I was that, when I was um, uh, serving in Port Harcourt, because I served in River State, I got paid the same amount as everybody. So there's no disparity in pay whether you work in in the federal in a in a in a private institution or you work in a federal institution, you get paid by the federal government the same amount of money. Now the place where you serve can can decide to give you something by the side, but obviously that amount is not regular or it's not the same as everybody it's left to that private institution to decide on what to give you uh, so after nyc you get a job the minimum wage in nigeria is 30 is it 33 thousand naira yeah <coughs> um, so depending on where you get a job that will depend on your salary but the rest assured that you're going to get more than the minimum wage obviously so it's quite a lucrative career if if i say so myself if you something you're considering and and you have interest in it definitely go for it it's quite a very lucrative career um what people ask these questions people the one that asked me this question this one's like is it hard to study local lab science in the university and the thing is, it's not easy to answer that question because, number one, I feel like we are all different intellectually. The way I would grasp something may be uh, different from the way a colleague of mine may grasp something intellectually and will learn differently. So what might be difficult for me might be easy for another person. There are some people that are born artists. They can draw, they can paint. I cannot draw to save my life. If I draw a human being, they usually look like a watermelon with too much stick. I'm terrible at it. So we all have different skills, different abilities. So I wouldn't say it is hard or it is easy. But I would say that nothing good comes easy. Eventually it becomes easy, but initially it might be hard. And if you stick at something or you do something over and over and over again, it becomes easier. I remember my first day as a doctor, I was so nervous. I was like, what am I doing here? Have I actually learned anything in school? But now, years down the line, I'm, I'm more confident than I was six years ago, seven years ago. And even now, I still have some times where I doubt myself. But I'm sure that in the next five, ten years, I'll be more confident than I am now. So what I'll just say is, once you um, once you add something for a very long time, you do something over and over and over and over again, no matter how much you resist it, you become good at it. That's just how it is. So do not be afraid of um, of whether maybe if someone says something is hard, or do not be afraid of trying out something. If you are um, persistent in it, if you if you study hard, if you stay at it and you're consistent, it will become easier. All right. I hope that answered some questions if you have any specific questions just let me know put it down in the comment section and i will respond I'm, i think i'm pretty good at responding actually even if i'm not that good with uploading, uploading videos but i think i'm good with responding to questions or comments okay so i would uh, record and upload another video next weekend for 
physiotherapy someone wanted to know about physiotherapy in nigeria and another person wanted to know about practicing as a doctor in i think he said the middle east i'll also make a video on that as well be here with me please oh and another request i ask please you guys should subscribe and like this video and share i want to get to 1000 view on um subscribers i don't have 1000 subscribers yet that's one one milestone i'm hoping to get to within the next one month so please give me a thumbs up share this video subscribe invite your friends and family to subscribe as well i'd really appreciate it all right thank you happy holidays bye